Hey all, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and for this video, we're going to be doing something really fun. I recently did a build for Fire's Deadly Sin, and I enjoyed the incantation a lot, although it didn't do a ton of damage. I decided to add it to an Eruption build, and it came out great. So the Eruption Ash of War isn't the best Ash of War in the game. It's probably lower on my tier list. On the main channel soon, I'm going to do a tier list with the top 30 Ashes of War and whatnot, your Average Gamer. But for now, I'm just going to talk about Eruption, and Eruption itself is just okay. But when you combine it with Fire's Deadly Sin, what happens is you end up with the damage over time effect on the actual incantation Fire's Deadly Sin, and then you get the fire damage on the ground from Eruption 2, which results in constant fire damage and a really fun combination. Now, I elected to put this in Flame Art, but the Ash of War Eruption itself, it's going to do better in Strength because the fire damage on the ground is probably going to scale with your Strength stat, but since most of this Ash of War is AR, I prefer the versatility that Flame Art allows. And that way we can add in Burno Flame, Giant's Flame, Take the Catch Flame, a whole bunch of different fire incantations because we're boosting fire damage anyway, but keep in mind Fire's Deadly Sin counts as a body buff, so we will not be using Flame Grammy Strength. Aesthetically, though, this is a really cool combination. I end up having a little bit of difficulty with the uh, Godskin Apostle here, not putting him to sleep. It ends up being a little bit of a tough fight overall. This is on base new game, by the way. Towards the end, I'm at rune level 125 for this build, but this boss can always be a little bit disruptive. By the way, I end up changing armor sets in this one, too. We end up getting the Black Flame Monk set. I'm going to show you where to get that. That's a really cool armor set. Right now, I just have the regular Knight set on that you get at the Round Table Hold, which is a nice set for a decent amount of armor and, of course, 51 poise, too, which is reasonable for the weight. Yeah, it's not a bad armor set at all and definitely one worth looking into. So the concept here is to use Eruption in combination with Fire's Deadly Sin. And then, of course, you could throw in those good incantations like Burn of Flame, too, because we're going to be boosting them also. Yeah, all around making for a really fun and aesthetically cool build, that's for sure. We're going to show you real quick where to get the Black Flame Monk set just outside of here. I'm going to show it on the map also. And this is a really cool set if you're running a fire build. It does take a little bit to farm for, though. And this enemy could be tough. If you want to farm this in the early game, it could be a little bit of a challenging fight. The Sight of Grace is right there, though, so you have that to your advantage. But it's at the Divine Tower of Kalid, the basement, right there. All right, and next up here, we're going to show off the whole build in its entirety, the entire versatility of the build. I do end up getting hit here. What we could do with it, we're going to cast Fire's Deadly Sin. We're going to use Golden Bow. Blessings Boon to negate some of the damage we take with the incantation. And then, since we're using the Giant Seal, we could add in Burno Flame, too. So we have all that fire on the ground for Fire's Deadly Sin, Burno Flame, and then when you use Eruption, you end up with the Magma at the bottom, too, Fire at the bottom that they sit in, and it adds up to a lot of damage over time for Fire Damage. And Eruption itself will do a little bit of Poise Damage. We're on base New Game. If you're on something like New Game Plus 7, which is most of my main builds, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But as a whole, you'll get decent Poise Damage from the Ash of War Eruption if you're able to pull it off. Yeah, it's seriously really cool running this. Just being on fire and then using Eruption and then having the fire at the bottom there too. Aesthetically, it looks really cool. I like it with the Black Flame Monk set too. I think that's a good addition to this build. Yeah, it's a really cool way to run things. Now, this isn't going to be the most overpowered build for sure. It's not going to be anything ridiculous, but it does do good damage. It does solid damage, and I think overall you're going to have a lot of fun with this one, and that's sometimes what it's about. It's just having the most fun you can have, and this is definitely one of those builds that's going to do that for you. Now, ultimately, I just wanted to add on to Fire's Deadly Sin because by itself, I did a build for it on its own. It's just not that much, but adding it to something like this, you could really make it work, and I ended up liking the way this came out. Let's jump into the build. So for the build on this one, the buffing order, first we're going to drink our tier. Next thing, we're going to cast Blessings Boon and negate some of the damage we take from Fire's Deadly Sin. Then we're going to use Golden Bow. You could fill up your FP after you use Fire's Deadly Sin. We're going to use that too, then fill up your FP. And then we have a lot of fire versatility here. We got the giant seal. We have the bastard sword, of course, with eruption on it, which is awesome in flame art. Let's jump into equipment, stats, everything you need to know for this one. And we have the bastard sword and flame art. We have it with eruption. We have the giant seal. We have the knight's helm on with the black flame armor set, 51 poise, shard of Alexander, fire scorpion charm. You're going to want the godfrey icon there. I was using the silver scarab to farm, flocks, canvas, talisman, flame tier, faith tier. 
And now we're going to talk about my rune level 125 stats. These are the stats I'm running on my PC build currently. Kind of messing around with different faith stuff. We have 65 faith with the faith tier. We have 50 vigor, 23 mind, 21 endurance, 22 strength. And then we're using Golden Vow. We have Fire's Deadly Sin. We have Giant's Flame Take Thee. We have Burno Flame. And then Blessing's Wound is definitely a good addition here. You're going to want that because Fire's Deadly Sin cost HP. And thanks for watching this one. Thanks for tuning into these mini builds. If you want to see more mini builds on this channel ahead of DLC, kind of obscure stuff like this, definitely be sure to sub and comment below as well so I know. Can't wait for DLC. It's right around the corner. We're literally getting closer by the day. It's it's less than four weeks away, I think, at this point. It's going to be amazing. Shadow of the Earth Tree is going to be awesome. Definitely be sure to sub to this channel and your average variety gamer. Thanks for watching and catch everyone soon.